it's a beautiful sunny day, probably the last sunny day we're going to get in England this summer. So it's pretty warm outside. What temperature? 27 degrees, the car is saying. Anyway, it's a perfect opportunity, I think, to see how fast this car can charge. This is a Citroen EC4. I'm going to go to my nearest charger, that's MFG at Sturry Road. And I need to try and get there with 10% because the test is, of course, doing 10% to 80%. And that's what manufacturers always quote. The hardest thing actually is going to be to get to the charger with 10% battery. I've got 14 at the moment and it's like three miles, about three miles, three, four miles to get to the charger. So I'm going to have to drive it like I stole it a little bit uh, to try and get it low enough. And I might have to go around a couple of roundabouts. So air conditioning to 19 there and 14% battery, let's go. Okay, I'm here with 10%, I was really well timed. J literally just turned 10% as I was reversing in. So I've got my Octopus Electroverse card, so I'm gonna use that. Okay, let's see how fast it goes. The maximum speed is 100 kilowatts, or around 100 kilowatts. So on a warm day like this, we should get 90 something, I would've thought. in theory. Well, that's not going quite as fast as I would have expected, given that it's a nice day. I was getting much better speeds than this in the E208, which is the same car underneath the head of it. What might happen is as the battery gets a bit warmer, it might then unlock faster speeds, possibly. But this does mean that I doubt we'll get to 30 minutes charging time. Ah, well, it does actually tell you in the car, so that's nice. But it only tells you to 100%. It's a bit stupid, really. That should tell you to 80. And by the way, I don't have air conditioning on or anything in the car, so that's not going to be drawing any power. Well, I was filming it on the GoPro thing, but my SD card is full. Newbie error. I just got, um, <laughs> I just got a lot of abuse from someone who was convinced I was taking pictures of them. He, he came over and, and started swearing at me and saying, you were taking video of me, you're taking video of me, but I'm not. But the problem is, of course, I've got my phone here in front of me and it looked like I was taking video of him. So he's swearing at me and all that and saying, you got a problem, you got a problem. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm no, I'm taking video of myself. And I showed him the photo and he was, my God. Yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to know. I said, "I'm a YouTuber. I'm just taking pictures of the charger." And he said, "Get off back in your car." God, that's a bit scary. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just bear in mind then if you're a YouTuber or something, then don't make it look like you're filming someone else. I suppose it's kind of obvious. So this little RFID card is fantastic and it's really worth getting. In fact, use my code. I always say use my code, but use my code at the bottom and you'll get five pounds off your next charge. And um, I'll get five pounds off as well. Um, the reason this is so good is that if you use contactless, so a normal bank payment um, on a charger, and these do accept that, it takes um, a pre-authorization charge, just as any fuel pump would. And if for whatever reason the charger is not working, which does happen, not with these so much, but it does happen, then you'll keep getting a pre-authorization charge each time you try and then hopefully it will refund it quickly but it doesn't always. So that's the first thing. Secondly, it means that if you have this and you're an Octopus customer, it'll come out of your Octopus bill, so that's quite nice. And um, it's just, it's quite neat, I think, using this. Um, and also, by the way, it, um, it's also it's cheaper as well with, uh, with some chargers. So some, some charge networks like Osprey and MFG, it's cheaper with those, and Ionity, I think. So that's why it's really worth getting one of these. Also, by the way, they're, they're much more reliable than contactless payments are, I've found. Because they've all, they've, all these chargers have these little payment terminal things, and they're exposed to the elements, and sometimes they break. So get one of these. I'm still a bit shaken up by that guy. He, was, um, he actually drove towards me in the car, <laughs> like to run me over and he was telling me to get back in the effing car. So um, I don't know whether I should report it to the garage 
and get their security footage or something. But, you know, I mean, it's an honest mistake. He's, he had a kid in the car and it looked like I was probably filming him in the, in the car. So, you know, it's an honest mistake. Just a thing to be wary of, isn't it? Everyone's free, everyone freaks out about cameras and of course, weirdos filming at petrol stations is especially strange, I suppose. So, um, but it, I did get a lot of abuse, even though I showed him the evidence of my photos. Anyway, maybe he's just having a bad day. Okay, let's see how it's going. So we're almost there. We're not gonna to be too far off 30 minutes actually, are we? So the Citroen EC4 is a Stellantis car. Stellantis is a very big group of companies that include Peugeot, Citroen, Vauxhall, Opel, Fiat and several others. And um, this car, the underneath of this car, is the same as the E208, the DS3 and many others. And um, the Vauxhall Mocha that we've also tested. So it's the same car underneath effectively and that's why a lot of the switch gears all become the same. Um, and it does mean that also the charging curve should be the same on all of these cars. But the E208, I think, was a slight, certainly slightly better in Italy, but maybe that's just because it was hotter. And this seems a little slower than I was expecting. Um, I didn't do this test, this actual 10 to 80% test in the E208 or the Mocha, actually. When I had the Mocha, it was cold, it was winter, and winter charging speeds are always worse. Right, we're at 79%. There we go. Well, there you have it then. So it is 30 minutes from 10% to 80%. And all my stuff about it not being fast enough, well, it's irrelevant. <laughs> it was absolutely fine. So that's good, isn't it? So it means that at least in summer, winter speeds won't be as good as that. At least in summer, if you were relying on public charging, 30 minutes isn't too bad, I think, from 10 to 80%. It's not too bad. If I wasn't doing all this YouTube stuff, and getting verbally abused by people, then I would have just gone over to the coffee shop over there or got a little bit of shopping just around here. So as I often say, um, what you don't want to do when you're charging a car is just waiting with it, because that's just silly. You do something else when you're charging, which is much better. Okay, um, the cost I'll flash up on screen, because actually I don't know, um, but uh, I'll put that on screen and now let's go home and we'll see what kind of efficiency we've got today. And I'm back home with 76% battery. So I'm going to put it up on screen what the efficiency was because I didn't reset the trip meter actually so I can't remember so I've got to look at Tronity and get it from that. Um, anyway I'm going to do a full review of this car another day but for now it's nice to drive and uh, it charges 10% to 80% in 30 minutes um, which is fine I think for most people in summer. I would like to have it in winter as a test that but um, I haven't. Anyway that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please press subscribe and bell icon to be notified of other videos. Thank you very much. Bye.